Hey Shuby Dealers, how are you doing? Well today I have been here at the Manchester Museum. I've been working with a bunch of kids from the Cedar Mount Academy and we've been writing stories about the museum. And I'm gonna be uh, kind of showing you about how I'm gonna make this kind of story pamphlet kind of thing uh, over the next few weeks as I'm working on it. So uh, keep following and see what it's all about. <laughs> Well, this is me and Cat Lum standing in front of Stan, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And Cat had this brilliant idea to get some kids in from Cedar Mount Academy and for us to kind of make a story out of from all the things that we see around the museum. And, uh, and then she wanted me to sort of turn it into a cartoony kind of thing which works over a sheet of A3 paper. And here I am back in my studio <laughs> try, trying to remember the story that we came up with. I wrote it all on big sheets which I got here. And this is the sheet that I was drawing in the picture. And this is Kat's great idea. It's a sheet of A4 and you fold it in half, fold it in half and half again. So you get the front cover and then you turn it over and you've got story two I've called it. So this is the main story that stretches out. I can, I don't have to stick to this pattern. This was just to give an idea. So I can move the little blocks wherever I like. Uh, and then the final part of the story will, um, I think probably I've done it that way up. I think it'll probably go that way up or sideways. I'm not quite sure. And will be a great big kind of poster picture. Uh, I think probably that way. It'll be a big poster picture um, of the final scene. Uh, and so that will act as a poster. And, but you've also got the story. So that's the front cover again. Uh, but you also have a story on the back. So that will kind of come that way. So I've delineated them blue and pink. So you've got one short story. So I've got, only got three little pages. And then I've got this um, bigger story here. And I'm going to be able to use a bit of the cover to introduce the story as well. Probably got to leave some space somewhere for all the legal stuff about copyright and all that kind of thing. Now I'm going to work on this short story first and in the museum they've got a whole section on climate control, kind of a big exhibition area. So we thought we would really, uh, it would be good to do something about that. Now we came up with all sorts of ideas for stories and we kind of had this balancing act. Should the story be funny or should it be deadly serious? I mean climate control is a very <laughs> deadly serious subject. Uh, but we decided since this is really going to be, it's going to be a pocket money kind of thing, a souvenir for um, kind of elementary primary school children to take away with them. Um, so we thought it should be funny, really. And so we kind of <laughs> worked on the idea of penguins down in the Antarctic. Part of what this is about is it's, it's a writing thing as well. Um, Part of this project is that it's a kind of a writing thing to put across this kind of way of building a story uh, with starting with an inciting incident, a challenge, a crisis, a climax and a resolution. So we try to get these five things in here. So we start off, uh, the climate is, everything's melting. There's no ice left for the penguins. So they're all sitting around complaining. We have the challenge. What are we going to do? One of them says, I know, I've got a friend <laughs> in Manchester Zoo. <laughs> who says, uh, you know, that they look after them there. So all the penguins get on an iceberg and float off to Manchester and they come down the Manchester Ship Canal. And they end up at the town hall where everybody's just talking. But uh, and nobody listens to them. This is the crisis. No one's listening to them. What are they going to do? They're melting or their feathers are falling out. One explodes. Luckily, the student council will see them out school are there on a visit to the town hall and they say you want to talk to the people at the museum so they all go trotting down Oxford Road <laughs> to, to the museum uh, where the museum welcome them in put them in the climate control exhibition and fill it full of fridges which they open up so that it, they can feel really really cold and everything's all right again so that's the resolution and that's basically the idea now I'm going to write it and I'm going to really 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 compress it just down into these four pages. <laughs> so there's not a lot of room. See how I get on. <laughs> and here is the sheet. And if I, 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 it's, that's one page. This is story two, but I am actually working on story one, which means I've only got one, two, three <laughs> little blocks to fit the whole story in. Now I've done a very simple pencil sketch. It's just a first thought um, that's gone down into my sketchbook. And then what I've done is I've got some A4, I've cut it down the middle. So this is all I've got is these three <laughs> blocks to use. So I'm zooming in here. Now this is sort of going to be full size so I can get a feeling of how it works. 
I've got to get all the details in there somehow. So in fact, I think what I'm going to do is a little line right the way across the bottom with copyright details, etc, etc, etc. Because that's all going to get in the way. So that can go right the way along the bottom. So that's my first thought. I'm going to call this story, I'm going to call it climate control. It's something they're taking seriously. It's something they want to promote. So what I've got here is uh, some little penguins sitting on the last iceberg in the world, which is floating. That's going to be the world. It's going to be coming from the southern hemisphere up across the Atlantic, up the Irish Sea and into the Manchester Ship Canal, where the penguins will end up in Manchester. So here we're going to want this uh, iceberg floating in the sea. And I'm thinking that maybe I can have some text in here as well. So that's going to be kind of a nice white area there. I'm thinking I'm going to want the sun dazzling away here because this is kind of melting everything. And let's see, climate control. The Antarctic is melting. And then I'm going to have kind of th some penguins sitting on here, all looking a bit. One, two, three, four, five. Five is probably quite enough, actually. So these are possibly the last penguins. <laughs> And um, when you're doing roughs at this stage, make them rough. You don't have to make them beautiful because you're just kind of working out an idea. And I think we want them to be looking really hot. Um, so we can have something like, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I'm going to explode. Where is this thing taking us? Taking us. The last iceberg in the world floats north across the Atlantic Ocean and then what I thought here was to have a picture of the world and we can have them kind of floating up there you can maybe have that floating in space which means, in fact, then we can have a nice blue background here so we can separate out these panels. So we can have a kind of a space background and everything putting on top. So this can be the Manchester Ship Canal and they can be floating up there. Or would it be better, in fact, if, if we actually saw them kind of going up a canal and then this would be going Manchester Ship Canal and we can see them floating up the Manchester Ship Canal on this it will have got a bit smaller this iceberg as well of course and then we can see kind of Manchester in the distance like that the penguins arrive at Manchester Town Hall so here we can have a little bit of a square outside Manchester and things like that we can maybe split this up into two blocks again there everyone talked but no one no one could help so now i'm thinking cut that out again so we'll have that as a kind of little speech panel up above there and we can have two penguins sort of looking a bit sad there while here you've got you know blah 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 all the politicians spouting in the background maybe they can help help and then we'll have town hall hall so you need to have all these little symbols here from so people don't they don't know what's going on students from cedar mount Academy were on a visit. I think we want these little penguins sort of looking up in awe at these fabulous students who are saying, Hey guys, so they'll be kind of looking like that. You should go to the museum. So we'll have two students here looking concerned. And these are the penguins. You should go to the museum. That's a really cool place. And then we can have climate control exhibition. And then my thought is here that the museum staff will have got them a, a fridge to sit in front of, cooling their hands on the fridge as this kind of stuff comes out. We'll have a lady who looks very like cat in front of the fridge saying here this will cool you down and they're saying thank you and maybe we need to have the end and then we can have stuff from the exhibition going on here and a kind of a sign above saying uh, this could be the bit of serious bit the 
Atlantic or whatever it is, the Antarctic, the ice in the Antarctic is receding and we need a not quite such difficult work there is disappearing bit by bit every year how can you help so that would be a kind of a sign up on the on the wall as part of the climate control exhi exhibition and they're kind of in front of it here so I think that that's kind of there. And now I'm going to do a kind of a tidier version of this. There we are. That's enough just to send to Cat for the moment. There's no point sort of doing detail work until everybody's happy that this is what we're going to do. There we are. I'll come back to this and I'll show you uh, when I paint the final thing. Thanks for watching and you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.